Andy Cooper. And I'm Katie Hacker. And for our final episode this season, we thought we'd concentrate on people. We're all different, but all the same in many ways, too. To begin, we're making these super fun puppets. What do you think, Katie? They are adorable. Or should I say partner? That's it, Howdy partner. <laughs> okay, so to make your own puppets, let's take a look at some materials. You're going to need some garden gloves, and these are really cheapies that I found in the garden section. Some embellishments that you would find in the doll section of the craft store, like hats, scarves, whatever you wanna uh, add to your puppet. A styrofoam egg, some instant paper mache material, some thick glue, buttons, acrylic paint, paint brushes, felt, and I think we're ready to get started. So I've gone ahead and mixed up some paper mache um, into, the, into this bowl. This stuff comes dry, but when you add water, you've got your magic uh, so, paper mache. So you have to follow the manufacturer's instructions to know how much material to exactly. mix together. The next thing we're going to do is find the tapered end of the egg, use a craft stick to wiggle out a hole. Remember, you're going to have a garden glove on, so you want to make sure that this hole is um, large. You can also use your thumbs to kind of sculpt this guy's face. I'm putting in some eye sockets. You can kind of give it an indentation for the mouth area as well, but you just want to get your armature ready for the clay. The next thing is we're going to need a little bit of water because um, this paper mache material is sticky, so it packs right onto your foam form and you have to use this stuff with water on your fingers or else it won't release onto the foam. So you would just smooth this all out and I just wanna get a section of the face done so that you can kind of see how you can add some features. Just with my wet finger, I'm kind of sculpting the nose areas, leaving some brows. And then if you wanna get some hair, use a paintbrush and kind of make some texture and let it stand up. Then you'll wanna set it on a paint lid or something where it can dry and it's going to take overnight. So then we have something that looks like this and you can see this guy's got some crazy hair going on. He does, I like it. <laughs> He's been out in the wind. So then we're going to grab our acrylic paints and you can paint it however you like and you could start with the cheek area, go around the um, nose. And I'm using some water with my acrylic paint because the paper mache texture. Does it help it spread around more? It goes down into the cracks and crevices more easily. But also, um, this, mache, this paper mache is so strong that you could file it, drill it, sand it, so you could get some more definition. Oh, yeah. Okay. So then we have something like this. And now we can start um, giving them some characters. So you want to kind of think about your design a little bit. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? We can add some pink lips. And you want to kind of steady your hands a little bit for this. I decided to make it a girl. I pink, can tell by the pink lips. Pink lipstick. So you don't have to draw with a pencil before you start. You could, If you mess up or something, you could just paint over it, right? Right. Yeah, I'm kind of winging it here, but I would probably draw mine out with a pencil. Oh, you would? Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Depends on what mood I'm in. <laughs> oh, how much time I have. Right. And you can kind of make some little eyes. Um, will you pull my um, little sure. guy I had on at the beginning? And I just used some black circles for the eyes. And these kind of things kind of take some time to come to life. Like you're going to want to use a hairdryer to dry your paint. And then if you look at this one. In between one, the layers. Right. I've added some white highlights, some rosy cheeks. You want to get your sideburns coming down how they would. And I think in the, in the doll section they even have hair you could add to that your. That would be fun too. Or you could do yarn. Right. I love yarn braids. Okay. So now let's dress them. So we're using a garden glove. For the, um, to cover our hands. And then I have a collar pattern that you can find online. This is really easy though. All you're going to do is cover your piece in, or fold your piece in half, lay your collar out, and then you would cut this piece out. Then use your thick tacky glue to wrap that collar piece around the front. I love the collar. It really adds a great finishing touch. Me too. And then use that same tacky glue to add a couple buttons. Maybe I should put the tiny button on first. Oops. 
And then we have... Have your Western shirt. That's right. And yeah, I think we're ready to go. And you would want to let that sit up. Do you want to put yours on so we can take Definitely. a look? And you can leave your hat um, detachable or you can make it stick with a glue spot or the thick craft glue. Let me see if I can keep my buttons to stay on. And then you can also glue your head on, but maybe you want to change outfits by changing garden gloves. So you can do that too. Hi-ho. Ready, partner. <laughs> so fun.